Hi guys, welcome back. We are working today on a 2004 XC90. Um, the issue is that the uh, lower engine mount has failed and whilst that sounds like a big scary thing, this is probably one of the easiest jobs you'll see me do on this channel. somewhere to sit. 10 mil spanner, that is a plastic nut that needs to come off there. They really aren't on with a lot of force. Okay, keep that in a safe place. And we're gonna take this, fold it back on itself, and that is the unit in question. Tool tip for you here by the way, in order to get this out of your way and keep it out of your way, get yourself a pair of plier grips and uh, adjust them nice and loose, clamp them on at the top and that gives you unfettered access. Now there are only two 14mm bolts on the front of this thing and there are two 17mm bolts on the bottom, one here and one here. However, the uh, workshop manual for this suggests that in order to do this job you need to get the engine out. It's a little rubbish. Uh, it is true that it makes it easier to access that bolt with an impact driver and so on if you have got the engine lifted and all that nonsense, but you absolutely do not need to. So, I've carefully worked. I'm using a 3 8 uh, 3 8 ratchet here and a socket in order to get in underneath the uh, the CV boots there. And all I'm gonna do here is just break the force on this. And I'm gonna get that out of the way. And I'm gonna use a funny shaped spanner here. But these deal with difficult to access places. And this will take me a few moments to get off. You don't need these, you can you can do this without, but it's just one of those jobs where if you have either the S-shaped or the uh, C-shaped uh, obscure access spanners, they're not expensive, you know, really not expensive, then it just makes this job a hell of a lot easier. Okay, so that one's loosened off. I'll be putting these back in with thread lock so it doesn't matter about getting a massive amount of torque back onto that. That's the first one. Same trick with the other, although we have better access this time so I can just shorten up this ratchet. Take that off. the second one. Last two now. now these are nice and easy they're just 14 mil but a uh, short extension bar is going to help you uh, to get over the edge of the subframe there. Okay, now I've loosened these two bolts off, but before I fully remove them, I'm just going to prop up and raise slightly the engine. And with these two bolts out of here, that's actually going to help us to uh, get the old piece out. Alright, so now I can just unbolt these take the old unit out. Okay, so here's the new unit. And the issue with these things over time is that anything that uh, flicks oil onto the rubber, the rubber perishes, it goes soft and the thing just squashes down into itself. Um, the uh, groove with the two V's cut out of it goes at the back, nice flat section for the bolt at the front. Just slots back in. 
There are locating pegs on the bottom, here and here, so you can't really go wrong with this job. Just get it back into location. We'll lower the engine down to meet those bolt holes in a moment. What I'm just going to do first is I'm going to put some thread lock on these, just to keep everything secure. Get all these bolts located and then we can uh, stitch it back up. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of play in this because what I want to do here with those pins in location is I want to just raise it up enough that I can locate these bolts here. So I've got thread lock on them already, and I'll just lower the engine down just a smidge. Might take a bit of uh, finessing this just to get it right. Oh crap. First, just use the uh, extension bar here as a screwdriver to relocate these. Now these got thread lock on so I'm less concerned about torque but I'm just going to tighten these up as far as I can. Just with the tools I have access for, I'm not going to use a, uh, an impact driver or anything like that, just the standard 3 8 that I used to get it off. <sighs> that is the uh, engine supported now. It can't go past the bottom of the plate, so what I can do now is release the jack that's currently supporting the bottom of the sump. Let that go. And we'll come back in with the 17 mil. Once again, I'm using a 3 8 here because it's slightly smaller than the uh, uh, equivalent half inch drive. A little bit easier to sneak in around the side here of the uh, CV boot. Just bully that out of the way. Tight corners like this, where you really feel the benefit of tools that have 72 teeth. Each little click in the ratchet is worth spending the difference. It means that you can you know, get another it's five degrees. There we go. Nice and tight. Thread it right in. It's all done. Not really that scary a job. Take the uh, vice grips back off. Place the plastic nut. And that's it, job done. Our engine mount on a Volvo. Um, this is the P2 platform, so of course that's S60, S80, V70, XC70, uh, and XC90. There may be others, but those are the ones off the top of my head. That's it, let's put the wheel back on and take it for a test drive. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.